Hello friends, this video on Structural Organization of Animals Part 38 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Oh, the last but not the least topic that is the reproductive system of the frog. Reproduction is something very very important for all living organisms so, and so is it is for frog. So let us see how do they reproduce. So frog is dioecious, that is they have separate sexes, a separate uh, male frog and a separate female frog with different organs. So development is not direct, it happens through a larval stage called tadpole. So it is not that uh, a young worm is formed and that is a frog. First it forms a tadpole and then over a due course of time it forms a frog. So it is indirect development. Fertilization is external, so the fusion of the egg and the sperm happens externally, it doesn't happen inside the body of the female. Talking about the male reproductive system, it consists of the following parts, testis, vas deferens, urinogenital duct and the cloaca. Talking about the female reproductive system, it consists of ovaries, oviduct and cloaca. So now we will talk about the male and the female reproductive system one by one. So let us look at the male reproductive system. We'll start with testes. So where are the testes located here? They exist in pairs. As I said before also, they produce the sperms. So they are located attached to the upper part of kidneys by a double fold of peritoneum called mesorchium. So where do we have the testes? So these are the testes. So you have it in pairs and if you see they are located in the upper part of the kidneys and they are connected to the kidneys by this double fold of peritoneum. So this is your mesorchium. So this is the location of the testis. Next is vas deferens. It is a thin tube like structure arising from each testis. So 10 to 12 of them exist, they enter kidneys on their side and open into Biddle's canal. So here if you see where do we find the vas deferens, this is the vas deferens. You see a tube like structure, so this will basically carry the sperms which are produced by the testis and it is present in both the uh, test attached to both the testes. Now these vas deferens, now it is not only one vas deferens which exists, almost 10 to 12 of them exist. Now they enter kidneys on their side and open into Bitter's canal. So they enter here into the kidneys and then they open into this canal which is also known as the Bitter's canal. Next is urinogenital duct. Vas deferens joins this urinogenital duct. This is urinogenital duct. So the vas deferens will connect to this urinogenital duct. It will come out of the kidneys and open into cloaca. So if you see this will gradually go and open into the cloaca. This entire structure is known as cloaca and this is the cloacal aperture. So cloaca is the small chamber that opens to exterior. It is used to remove fecal matter or urine. So basically it will, the sperms will be produced here. They will be carried by the vas deferens. Then they will join the urinogenital duct. Then it will reach the cloaca. So what is this structure which you see here? This is nothing but urinary bladder which is used to store urine. Now let us talk about the female reproductive system. In female reproductive system, they have ovaries which again exist in pairs and they are located near kidneys. They are the ones which produce the eggs. So where are the ovaries? These structures are the ovaries. So they also exist in pairs. Oviduct tube like structure arising from each kidney opens into cloaca. So if you see where is the oviduct here, this is oviduct. If you see it arising from here so this is your OV duct this OV duct opens into cloaca so here if you see this is also OV duct and you, it opens into this yellow structured which which actually which is nothing but cloaca and this is the cloacal aperture and again here also this is the urinary bladder 
Cloaca is the small medial chamber that opens to exterior used to remove fecal matter or urine. So the same thing here. So here also the eggs will be produced and it will be thrown outside through the cloacal aperture. And then the fertilization that is the sperm and egg will fertilize and that fertilization will take place outside their body. It will happen externally. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.